All right, welcome to another tutorial in Maya. Um, check this out. Sometimes you're going to need to create some text that kind of flows around in a circular pattern. And um, that's what's perfect about using what's known as a flow path. Now, as you can see here in this scene, I have a flow path set up which basically takes this text and, and curves it around, makes it look kind of cool. So uh, I'm going to show you kind of how to do this process. It's fairly simple and um, it just basically cre um, you're, we're creating a flow path. So let's go back to the start. Nothing special here with rendering or anything. I'm just going to show you how to create this lattice basically which contains the, the text. And as you can see, um, if I can pull up my outliner here, um, essentially the flow path is, is a lattice, okay? And that's this right here. And it also has a base, which shows up back here as in, the, in the green area. And that sort of is the encasement, so to speak, of the you know logo or the, the words, whatever. We're not really too concerned with that right now, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to just sort of create this from scratch. I'm going to go here and do a file edit, uh, actually new scene file. And uh, I don't need to save that. And we'll start out with just a basic uh, basic scene. So let's create a plane first for everything to sort of sit on. We'll go to Polygon and Plane. And let's just do a quick plane. All right. Now, um, what we want to do is we want to create a just a simple circle, um, a NURB circle, and that'll just basically give us a curve. Um, I'll sort of put it on there, and I'm going to center this out. So I'll just come up here into the box, click in there, hit zero, click in the translate, zero, and now we kind of have a round circle. So I'm going to actually maybe just bring that down a little bit. We'll bring it down into there. So now we have a simple NURB circle. Great. Uh, the next step, just come up here and create some text. You can write whatever you want. Um, I'll just sort of create the same text I created last time, which was just this revolution. So what I'm going to do is go into shaded mode. And um, let's take a look at this. I want to center. Well, you don't really need to center this out yet. And this curve is just basically a, a NURBS circle. Um, so let's set our animation first for like, say, 300 frames. And we set this first because when we attach this to this as a motion path, it's going to pick up this value of 300 frames. So let's go ahead and just um, click on our um, text first and then click on your um, curve. Oop. Sometimes it's better to do this out of the uh, outliner. Uh, you might want to pick your um, NURBS circle first. And then we're going to actually, no, we're going to pick the text first. And then we're going to pick this NURB circle right here. And make sure you're in your animation menu set and come up to anim animate. Come down to motion paths. And what we want to do is just attach to motion path. We're attaching that text to the motion path. Now, I'm going to do a quick play of the scene. And you'll see where it just sort of revolves around, but it's not curved around the surface nicely. So let's give it a little bit of a curve. And by doing that, what we're going to do is create a flow path. OK, so I'm going to stop that, bring it back to the beginning. And what we want to do is we want to select our text first, and then we want to select that circle. So I'm going to bring the outliner back here, and I'm going to shift click to the circle. So I have both of them selected. And now what I want to do is come back to my animate menu and come back down to motion paths and go to flow path object. OK, so right away you see something weird happen. I'm going to move the outliner. You can see where this is sort of not in conformance to the circle. Well, that's because we have to give this flow path or this um, lattice some scale. All right. So I'm going to show you in the outliner real quick what it looks like. You'll see where I have the um, the F the lattice one selected basically. So that's cool. Watch what happens when we do this. I'm going to come over here and use the scale tool. But you'll notice that the scale tool right now is only on you know the the lattice. It's not necessarily on the base. So 
come over here into the outliner take a look at this you want to select both the lattice and shift click select the base okay now we can give this um, some more scale so I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to scale this up and you, as you can see at some point as I'm scaling up that all fits within the lattice okay so now basically everything is contained within this cage so I'm going to move my outliner out of the way and we'll take a quick look at what this looks like um, so far I'm going to just highlight um, the text so I can see it better and here we go I'm going to click play so now you can see it's moving around its flow path it's curved the way it should be according to that circle and that's about it um, it's a really cool thing to play around with but notice how it gets kind of wacky around the outside edge here um, we're gonna give it a little bit more scale but uh, to tell you the truth I haven't been able to figure out why it does this why I can't get it to interact perfectly with there so I'm gonna give it some more scale actually we don't want to give that we want to give this one some more scale and make sure that when you're just scaling stuff you you select both and that'll give you the proper scale so now I can scale both of these up I think I'll take this one out a little ways and you can play around with scaling like that um, but you know usually I'm only using these as a, a titling thing for compositing onto you know other stuff so it never really bothers me if it goes wacky back there as long as I have like a, a full circle I guess so anyway that's kinda how that's done to that point so now that you have your motion path I'm gonna look at this a little closer and you'll notice you can kinda of move around and set up the positioning and whatnot um, I may wanna move the whole thing well no for the moment I'm gonna leave it like that but let me show you something really cool here um, I'm going to take this and you, you'll notice that this lattice right here is basically just that it's a lattice and um, you can form points on this lattice if I were to right click and go into lattice point mode you'll see where all of your points show up all over the place so that's kind of cool watch what happens when you select some of these points I'm just randomly going to select those so I'll go into my selection tool grab those and let's do some scale I'll come over to the scale tool and just scale it up I can see where my X Y and Z's are here I'm gonna scale these out so you can see what happens there it sort of raised those points up and out now I'm gonna go ahead and play the animation and you'll notice where it sort of conforms to the shape as it goes through that it'll conform to the shape of what I just set for it um, and that's pretty cool here it goes you can see where it sort of gives it a kind of a curling effect so that's sort of what the flow path does in that lattice around there does um, you'll notice that we have one around the back here let's see what happens when it comes back to this point I just randomly grabbed some of those you might want to be a little more exacting um, but you know typically typically that's what it's gonna do and a render on that um, we'll go ahead and do a render as it goes through here um, yeah essentially it's just a way to conform your text to various I'll stop it right there let's do a render and essentially here's what it's looking like uh, nothing nothing great it's just a um, basic starting point I don't have any textures or anything but you can see where you know it's sort of conforming to the shape of that flow path so that's really cool so I guess that's it for this tutorial um, go ahead and play around with that concept mess around with all of your um, vertices and uh, you know angles and remember this is mostly a technique that's used for compositing um, because sometimes you might have a layer um, playing in the background and something rolling over the front so just keep that in mind that it's a perfect way to animate 3d text and then composite it back in with you know something else along the way so there you go that's the flow path Hey, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more tutorials. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get updates. 
And um, there you go. And as uh, always, read a book and learn something. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching.